Give me a four-lane highway Or a gravel county road North, south, east, or west The wind is blowing my way Every dawn's a brand new day Every mile a story told New Mexico, you know, the wide open spaces, the deserts, the beautiful sunsets, the birthplace of rock and roll. Well, arguably to some. Hey, I'm Stacy Dean Campbell. Come on, let me show you what I'm talking about. I headed north out of alien country on Highway 70 in search of a little piece of rock and roll history that, well, you might find pretty surprising. Hey, David. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, when I came up here the first time, I was so blown away with the studio and the, and the tour that you gave me that I had to bring people up here and show them. So I got to see the control room and, and see the chair. After a short stint on Nashville's yard. Decca Records and an opening gig for Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly's country music days were over. He headed to Clovis, New Mexico to work with a young engineer named Norman Petty whose innovative recording techniques would suit the young Texan's rock and roll aspirations to a T. That, that chair was the listening back chair for for Buddy and everybody else. I gotta sit in that, of course. While the majority of the record industry centered around places like Nashville and LA and New York, Norman Petty was quietly establishing a unique sound in this little unassuming two-room recording studio right here in Clovis, New Mexico. It was a sound that would combine natural reverb from hollow tiled rooms and the pure raw energy of guitar amps like the classic Fender Tweed. That recording technique combined with the simple arrangements and instrumentation of Buddy Holly's musical compositions would create records that would go on to make the young Texan a legend and inspire some of the most successful artists in music history. Let's go check out the studio. Okay, give me the give me the, the rundown. I'll follow you. Okay. With all the vintage instruments and mics sitting around, you can almost just hear echoes of the guys in there working out a new song, picking some chords. I mean, it almost feels like you're going to turn around and Buddy himself is going to come walking right into the room. This room here, Stacy, is where all of the uh, uh, production actually came from. All the artists stood here. In fact, this microphone here is basically the one that Buddy Holly used every time that he sang. Walking into the studio feels like stepping back in time. All the original instruments sitting around that were used on those great records. Even the original mic that Buddy used to sing some of the greatest vocal tracks ever. This is called a Celeste, and there's very few of them around. And this was used on the song Every Day. Wow. Standing in here makes you wonder if they knew just how great the records they were making really were. You guys Fender Amp, it was basically our sound system. Well, and we didn't have to have a semi truck to move it around, as you can tell. You know. Yeah. Gosh, that's that's amazing. I can't believe you can stand this close to the mic. Oh yeah. yeah. It's got a it's got a it's got a thing around. <laughs> Along with the hit records that kept popping up on the wall came the need for, well, a little more space. And Norman moved downtown onto Main Street and bought the old Mesa Theater. He turned it into one of the most innovative recording studios and live venues of its day. Completely equipped with gold chains hanging from the ceiling, arched backdrop on the stage, and a studio that remained state of the art until just not too long ago. As a matter of fact, Leanne Rimes recorded her big hit record, Blue, right here in this building. As I wandered around Clovis just soaking up all this rich musical history, the one topic that kept popping up was, well, taquitas and Foxy Drive-In. All right, here's the deal. If you've never had a taquita, this is the place to get one. Look at that. The story goes that the original recording studio set so close to the road that a lot of times the recording sessions had to be done at night so that noise from the cars wouldn't be picked up by the microphones and well heard on the records. Enter Foxy Drive-In, an all-night jaunt where hungry musicians would take a break for a cheeseburger, steak fingers, and well, I'm told, Buddy Holly's personal favorite, 
yeah. the taquitas. That's unbelievable. All right. Don't think just because we're almost done that I'm going to not sit here and eat all these. I may have to have a burger on Folks turned out to be quite you know, a surprise. Like, so next time you venture this? out, make sure Where'd you take a good from? look around. What are you talking about? That's a man's burger right there. You never know oh when God. you might be passing right by a great story. I'm probably going to have to have a Coke float too. Okay. And a milkshake. And a hot fudge sundae. And a corn dog. And another one of these hamburgers. Another Coke.